Welcome back to the Sarah Scoop channel. Monique, who is our entertainment editor. Hi, thanks for having me. And so Monique is the expert when it comes to all things entertainment. And she is going to kick it off today by filling us in on what's new with Freeform. Okay, so as we all know, Freeform used to be ABC Family. Uh, they've recently undergone a rebranding as of like the end of last year into this year. And they're really into their own now. So in addition to all the changes with the name and the programming, we are now changing the 13 nights of Halloween. It is no longer 13 nights, they have made it 31 nights. So it is gonna be the whole month of October, nothing but Halloween movies um, at night, sometimes during the day if it's a weekend, but it's super cool. Okay, so <laughs> um, that, I always wonder and that's kicking off cool. October 1st through the 31st. Yes, October 1st through the 31st. I always thought it was weird that they only did 13 nights yeah. anyway. Like I get unlucky number 13, but still like, like it just, there's the, so many. Are there any that you've seen in the lineup that you're really looking forward to? Excited this year because they're premiering Sweeney Todd finally. Uh, they they have all the other like Johnny Depp movies and all the other like typical Tim Burton -y kind of creepy dark movies. Um, but Sweeney Todd is new this year, and a couple others. Um, Warm Bodies is new this year, and Maleficent is new this year. Hocus Pocus is always going to be. I don't think they're ever going to get rid of Hocus okay, Pocus. Yeah. Um, and since it's the 25th anniversary, they are doing a special for that, and there is going to be a 25th anniversary special for Nightmare Before Christmas, too, um, since that one is also celebrating an anniversary. And of course, on Halloween night, there is the typical Hocus Pocus marathon where they play Hocus Pocus back to pack from like 11.30 in the morning to like midnight. <laughs> Good, they're, not, they're changing it up, but it sounds like it's really in the viewer's favor. I think so, and it has caused some controversy because some of our favorites aren't back this year. Um, that would be like Coraline, Corpse Bride, Beetlejuice. Uh, I think it's weird because every year in the past they've played those. Also, Adam's Family Values isn't on the list either. I just think that's a little weird. Um, but I think it might have something to do with whether or not they have the rights to air those movies anymore. I know um, with Harry Potter, they lost the rights to that starting January 1. So I don't know if they didn't re-up their contract for those. And also, we are getting another one of those Decorating Disney Magic specials. So I'm excited for that. Um, it's Decorating Disney Halloween Magic, and they will be playing that off and on throughout the um, Halloween season. Okay, so going off of, we've got Halloween, and then we're going to jump into Christmas a little bit, because you have some Christmas updates for us, and I, I feel like everyone loves Christmas movies. I don't know anyone that doesn't look forward to that holiday season with Christmas movies, and so what's Freeform doing for us this year? Okay, so Freeform usually has something called the countdown to the 25 days of Christmas and the 25 days of Christmas. So if you've ever watched ABC Family during the, whole, the Halloween, Christmassy kind of like block of the year. You've got 13 nights of Halloween, which is now 31 nights of Halloween. And then you have Countdown to Christmas, which is, oh sorry, Countdown to 25 Days of Christmas, which is like the last few weeks in November leading into the 25 days of December leading up to Christmas. So this year, it is not called the countdown to 25 days of Christmas. It is called the kickoff to Christmas, I do believe. And what are your thoughts on that? Like, did you like kickoff or do you like countdown or really no preference? Uh, I'm going to keep calling it countdown to 25 days of Christmas because that's just, that's just what it's been. Um, it's going to take a while for that one to like really stick with me because that just, it just doesn't sound right. I kind of think it's just part of the, in like, they're revamping, like, we're gonna switch it up a little bit with their yeah. new, like, free forum, as you were talking about earlier, like, the ABC family, like, we're gonna go from countdown to kickoff, like, maybe making it a little more exciting. That is a good way to think about it. Yeah, the kickoff, it's the kickoff to Christmas, um, and that leads into the 25 days of Christmas. Now, I'm still not 100% sure about this, but it's sounding like the kickoff to Christmas might be, like, the whole month of November. Um, don't quote me on that, but if it is the whole month of November, that would be awesome because that kind of helps with the whole competition between them and um, Hallmark Channel. Because, right. you know, Hallmark Channel starts their Christmas movies like October 26th. 
Um, so that would be really great if I could flip through Lifetime Hallmark Channel and read more <laughs> throughout November for Christmas movies. There's so gonna be so many. Yeah, and uh. so because we are doing Kick Off to Christmas and 25 Days of Christmas, we've got some new movie premieres during 25 Days of Christmas. Uh, they have three movies right now that they've announced. The first one is Life Size 2. So for Life Size, we're gonna get Tyra Banks again as Eve, cause Eve's great no matter where she goes, dress her up from your head to her toes. Uh, <laughs> and she is going to be saving her creator. Um, so whoever is in charge of like the Eve company, like we all knew that they were in trouble last time with the movie, but I guess they're in trouble this time, or at least the CEO is having some problems. So Eva's here to kind of shake her and get her going again. And no Lindsay Lohan. No Lindsay Lohan. But we do have a new face, Francia Reza. If you remember her, she was on Secret Life of American Teenager. She's currently on Grownish. Um, she is a fantastic actress and she will be playing Grace Manning, who is the CEO of Marathon Toys. It's going to be a straight to TV movie and it's going to premiere during uh, 25 Days of Christmas. And there's also going to be No Sleep Till Christmas. That's another um, freeform premiere. In addition to having all of this holiday stuff going on, they are introducing a new mascot for the holiday block. And it is, his name is Freeform Santa. Um, if you remember the Old Spice guy, Isaiah Mustafa, yeah, he is the Freeform Santa. <laughs> oh, okay, so there's, like, a person is going to be the Freeform Santa? Okay, I was, I was picturing, like, cartoon. No, no, it is this dude, it is him, dressed up in, like, a sweater, like, it, <laughs> I laugh, I think it's hilarious, but yes, he is the Freeform Santa and he is gonna be the mascot during this holiday season. I guess he's gonna pop up during commercial breaks. I don't know, it wasn't very clear, but like, I'm, I'm excited, I'm very excited. That's so fun. I, I don't like the changes. I know it's always different, but it sounds like they're good changes. So everyone yes. can tune in starting October 1st for all of those great Halloween movies, and then um, we'll be coming back, you'll be giving us some more updates as it gets closer yes. to the holiday season.